That's what, what you do. You're gonna leave? What, is it yeah. thumbs up? Alright, screw you out. Screw you out. Oh, sorry. Don't put this in this video. We're just that out. out, but... I'm out. I gotta go to work. The goal for the day is to show you guys how to get your car lower if you already have coilovers. Uh, we're gonna explain exactly how you would do that depending on what coilovers you have and kind of the thought process with sign fight behind finalizing a kit and all that stuff. But first we gotta get the car on the lift and I've never done it with the side skirts, so. Since it now has the side skirts, it's gonna be a lot harder to get the uh, lift arms under there. It was already a pain before. Definitely gonna have to use race ramps. So watch me struggle with that for a minute and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do. Alright, so it seems like what most people fail to realize is that they think that because I have this much room here, I could still go lower by adjusting this up. Now this is a bad example because it's inverted, but just imagine it's flipped the other way. You have that gap between the rings. Well, the shock is bottomed out in the cup. So, the only way to go lower would be to lower the spring, but what that's going to do is going to kill your already short shock travel on this kit. Uh, it'll let the spring be loose, see how it's tight in there now, and that'll bounce around make noise. Um, it's just all sorts of bad. It'll generally probably slam into the bump stops. She should never be adjusting a coilover setup like this, like ours. Some coilovers are adjusted this way. Ours are not. They're adjusted by the shock into the mount. You should never be adjusting a coilover setup like this uh, by the spring. So to get it lower, we're going to use shorter shocks, which I have right here. So it's a 10 millimeter shorter stroke, 10 millimeter shorter body. Uh, the goal is going to be to see how low this will actually go, how high it will go, and the ride quality. I want to make sure that I'm not slamming into this bump stop. Um, because if I am, it's useless. Um, we'll have to go back to a longer shock and just sacrifice drop range. We will not sacrifice ride quality. So, I'm gonna pull these out real quick. All right, front coilovers are reinstalled. All good to go. You can see that changing to a shorter shock closed that gap that we had before because the old shock is shorter. The spring is still properly preloaded. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I went ahead and lowered the rear about a quarter inch uh, just so that it'll match the front drop. Now we're gonna put it down and see what it looks like. Cam's and uh, me and Marco some stickers. Thanks, Cam. The package just showed up from Australia here at work, and I was like, "What? What did I get from Australia?" Ren. So this is the front without even settling yet. It'll probably settle the lake right above the tire. It's probably gonna have to go up some. Rear should settle probably about right above the tire too. 
could go lower in the rear and match the front. We'll see how it how it works out after we drive it around some. Alright, so this is what we've got as far as ride height goes. It's pretty close to rubbing in the front. And when I put the angle mods back on, I'm gonna have to space this wheel out even further, so that's probably not gonna work. The rear could go a tad lower. The goal is to make it to where I can get a jack under that subframe without having to drive on wood. It's not worth the uh, extra like quarter inch of drop to me to to have to like drive my car on wood every time I need to jack it up. Uh, so I think we're gonna raise the front half an inch and then see where we need to be with the rear. Uh, and then that'll probably be final ride height. So we're gonna do that real quick. Oh. All right, well, we're not going any lower with the rear. That's for damn sure. All right, well, I can still jack it up from right here, so we'll probably keep the rear at this height, for now at least. Time to raise the front. See, kids, this is why I'm not okay with having my car slammed. I work on it too much. To deal with this every time I have to jack it up. That's why we're gonna raise this. So that's about where we're gonna be. It's gonna settle probably about a quarter inch from there. Front end. Nothing seems to be rubbing other than the like little front air dam thing that always rubs even when the car is stock. See how she does through here. Ugh. That was that was a bit bit much. It's not a like all air dam, just a little bit more air dam than normal. All oh, the sun's coming out, finally. All right, so it's definitely gonna settle a good bit more than this, but I think I'm pretty happy with that ride height. The front doesn't seem to be rubbing on much of anything, and we're pretty low there. Uh, I'm putting new tires on the front whenever I do the angle mods and stuff, or after that, I'm not sure. So things might change a little bit, but for now, I think this might be a good functional ride height. I can kind of fit my shoe under the side skirt, so means we should be all right. Uh, as much as I like old cars, you know, the absolute goal is to be able to drive the car and not worry about like having to go two miles an hour over like a weird bumpy section in the road just because the car is low. Like I, I just, I can't do that personally. Uh, so I'll try to find a happy medium. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I wanted to show you guys, you know, what it takes to get a coilover over the right way, you know, not just drooping the spring because if I were to droop the springs, it would ride terrible. Um, so it, I've done it before and it is horrible because generally, especially on setups like this, the shock so short anyway that you're just going to be slamming into the bump stops and it's a terrible ride. And it's not worth it to me to be low to have a terrible ride. It's not worth it. Same thing with rubbing, same thing with all that. So happy medium. That's all I have to say about that. So thank you guys for watching and for subscribing. I will see you next time. We got a lot more stuff coming up real soon. Stuff. Okay. Bye.